Hello and welcome to today's video guys. Today we are going to do some mail art and so I'm just decorating some envelopes. That's basically what mail art is if if you're not too sure. And we are gonna do kind of the same exact little style here but everyone will be a bit different. I have my envelopes actually filled already because I'm working on some pen pal mail that needs to go out. I have scraps of paper near me, I have stickers, some washi, and just one wooden stamp. So one thing that I want to mention is when you are doing mail art, keep it somewhat simple, don't go too dimensional, and make sure that any of the layers you have on your envelope will be all the way glued down. I don't do mail art too often, but when I have in the past, um, I don't typically seal it or put it in another package. I haven't had any issues with it. If you are worried or if you end up noticing that maybe some of the layers are kind of like getting peeled up or anything like that, you may want to go ahead and slip this into like a little clear um, bag. To I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Or you could also take packaging tape and just do one big tape over, which I'll also show you. But again, I feel pretty confident sending it just like this as long as I know that all of my layers are really nicely um, taped down. So I just have a little scrap of music paper. You also want to make sure that your label is going to be not, not too... Um, not too hectic to where you can't where it's hard to read the address so this is uh you know i have a design here but it's light enough that i think i will be able to write the address on there just fine i'll do just a little bit of layering here but again i'm not going to do too much and i'm just going to try to <laughs> ink up the edges i don't know where my little sponge is here we'll go like this just to have a little bit of interest here. Let's see, like this. And so definitely make sure that you're using a strong glue, especially if you don't plan to um, seal yours. Okay. And let's see, I think I'll go ahead and I'll glue my little label down first and then I'll add a couple more little things. And then of course if you're going to use something like washi tape, um, you guys probably know from experience, washi tape is not exactly the strongest tape. So um, let's see, actually I kind of want this edge to go up like that. So we're going to use some glue on the washi tape that I use as well. You really want to make sure. So, oh, now a lot of the flat mail goes through like a roller, from what I've heard, and it goes in between like two. I don't know, like <laughs> it goes like in between there. So if you do have any little papers that can um, get caught, they can get torn a bit. And so I'm just going to assess after I have this all together if I do in fact need to seal mine or put some packaging tape over it and so I can show you both of those ideas. I'm going to use two different washi tapes and so I used one and I'm going to use a little bit of a floral one and you know what <laughs> that first one I used was sticky so I didn't use glue like I just told you to do but I will definitely put some glue down here for this one and then I think we're almost done here, I think, with this one. I'm gonna take my wooden stamp. I only have one over here right now, so I'm just going to, you know what? I think I want my black ink just because the Distress Oxide inks are not permanent, and so they're definitely not waterproof. And if this is going through the mail, there's a chance it might get wet. So I wanna go ahead and make sure that this will be all right. And again, I do have this packaged up already so this stamp might not be perfect it's gonna be better to do your stamping on a flat envelope but that's okay okay I think that gives me enough space and then I think I'm just gonna finish mine off with maybe a sticker 
up in this corner right here. Let's see here. We'll do so let's do some florals. I'm really into the florals right now. This is a really pretty clear sticker and these are super sticky so I'm not gonna worry about adding. Let's see, you gotta make sure also that it's not gonna be in a spot where a stamp will go over it. We'll just go like that. And that gives me enough room to write my address. So there is the first one. And even though that stamp stamped over several different layers, it doesn't look perfect. I think it looks kind of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more together. I already started actually a first filming and I had to restart. So we'll start with that base right there. And let me grab my little plastic like I was telling you about so that I can use that when we're all done. Okay, so I have music paper and for this one, let's see, I think I'm just gonna riff. I'm gonna use this paper for my label for writing my address. Now again, this one does have a bit of a design but it is super light so using my dark Sharpie, um, I will be just fine with that design and it's not gonna be too much going on where the mailman can't read the address or anything. Um, let's see, I'll also, I might just use some more of these florals actually. This sticker book I'm using is a Happy Planner Botanicals and it has some really great stickers in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one actually behind so it will get a bit lost, but it's okay. I'm gonna ink up the edges here. I feel like you don't really have to do too much um, on envelopes just to make it a little bit more special. Um, you can always add stickers and things to the back of it too, but I think I'm just going to stick with my one little decorated area and really make sure that that glue is gonna go to the edges because that's where it's going to lift up. Okay, so I think even though we're covering the sticker a little bit, I kind of like how it's peeking out. Okay, let's see, I'm not gonna do the stamp for this one. I will use, I have these rub-ons and let's go ahead and do one of the butterflies. These are fun and these are really great, the rub-ons, because they are not dimensional like at all. Like once they're on your paper, they're like almost melted into the paper, I guess you could say. So this will be perfect for mail art. And I think, whoops, I almost dropped it. We'll put this just kind of like that, make sure I'm giving myself enough room. And then I have my little awl here and I'm just gonna make sure to rub that all the way on. These ones I got from the Dollar Tree and they are a little bit more tricky. I do find you have to really make sure to rub them on much better. And I probably could, I probably should, maybe I could use the back of this. Maybe that would actually work better. So it could be user, user error. I wouldn't be surprised. My little one's having fun hanging with dad right now. So you might hear her. Okay, that worked good. Here we go. Okay, I'm really liking this one. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of washi tape again. And let's see if I can get some. Here we go. It's so hard to find the edge of the washi tape sometimes, but got it, okay. And so we'll put this up here. So I'm gonna use just a little bit more glue. I should've got a new glue bottle, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna cut this edge because it had a little rip in it, like this. Sometimes I feel like I could really just keep going, but I feel like this is good enough here. We're good, aren't we? Okay, let's keep that one. Now I wanna show you. So I have these cellophane bags, that's what they're called. This might not be big enough, but let me just give you the idea. The thing is, is they're just so super duper flat 
they're going to be perfect. So unfortunately, this isn't big enough for this. I'm not actually gonna use this, but I'm hoping to just give you an idea. Yeah, no, but this would be the perfect thing to go ahead and put your envelope in if you are, you know, too worried about these catching on the um, little rollers when you are sending. So cellophane bags are perfect. Got mine on Amazon, of course. But again, if you don't have that, you can also finish up writing your address, which I'm gonna do off camera, so I'm not actually gonna do this, and then just take your packaging tape and do like two strips, whatever it is, um, big enough to cover the entire thing. And it still looks really, really pretty, but it's also gonna be super protected. So there are my fun little envelope mail art. <laughs> Let me know if you guys liked this video. It was just a quick video. You can also use things like, um, I have lots of like, you know, gardening and botanical pages. That would be really fun, but this would be a great time to pull out stickers. And I was gonna use some of these stickers, but we already used what we needed to. So yeah, just pull out your scraps, have fun with this. And I hope that you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later, bye.